guys. It's like three in the morning. Check out the fog. It's a little bit foggy this morning. A lot of humidity in the air. Until fall's coming, it's getting cold. It's in the 50s right now. So you can see the fog. It won't be long. It'll, <laughs> it'll soon be ice. It's coming, guys. Look how foggy it is, guys, over at the hills. We're going to zoom in just a little bit on that a lot. Check that out. Can't hardly see the hills when it's foggy all the way over. That's a highway over there. Well, that's a bad place to be driving through. Those hills grab it and hold on to it. But it is really foggy over there. It's pretty. You hear the cars, though, just flying through there. But it is crazy foggy. I wanted to show it to y'all. It's cold out this morning, too. Guys, fall is here. Hear that light rain? 60 degrees. The birds are chirping. It's a beautiful day. This is what I like. Trees will all be changing soon. Hear that light rain with cloudy skies. It's a cool day. And you can hear Polo. <laughs> he heard the door shut. Check that out, guys. A big pot of beans. Not a little pot. That's a huge pot of beans with a family size package of pork chops in it. That is going to make mom some great beans. She thinks she makes better beans than me, but I don't think so because she uses her pressure cooker thing that I bought her. And I don't like them as well out there as I do on the stove. So I'm going to have to take her back to 101 and teach her how to make some good beans right here. I don't put a big boil yet, but it's almost there. And those pork chops are already starting to change color. They're going to be so tender and they're going to make such a good broth for these beans. Hmm, mom ain't going to be able to stop eating them. She's going to be standing here at the stove just with a big old spoon. Look at that, guys. Big old pork chops and then beans. Look at that. That is going to be so good. I just peppered them everywhere. <laughs> I get pepper everywhere when I eat it. But look at that. That's going to be so, so good. Mm, mm, mm. To show you all a little trick. Dip you some beans out while you're making them before they're done. Get you a nice little potato masher like this. Mash them. Put them back in your beans and that will make you the best juice you've ever had. It will thicken it up. Make it so thick and good. We call it bean gravy in there. I'll show y'all. Mash it up just like that, guys. Scoop it back in your beans. Stir it in. And watch what it does to my broth. I'll show you my broth here in just a little bit. And guys, see how thick I got that juice? I'm going to put some butter in it. Just like that. We'll add a little bit more to it to taste. But I add quite a bit of butter. Look how thick that's getting since I mashed that all up, guys. Man, that's going to be good. I'm going to make me a few of these little tater discs to go with my beans, guys. It's going to be so good. Won't be long I'll be able to show you the beans and cornbread and everything. This is the gravy I'm talking I make on mine. Look at them beans. Look at that gravy in there. That pork chop. How thick that is that is going to be so good guys we're so close to eating that it's not going to be long now we got the cornbread in there we got the beans in there we got the we got the potatoes in there guys i'm going to go sit down and i'm going to eat this and enjoy it that thick gravy on them beans on that cornbread yeah it's time to chow down now welcome to wide open adventures on this windy windy day you can see we got a little bit of a cloud covers came over today i don't know if it's going to rain or if it's parts of the hurricane there's a little bit of a a bank in that one there i hope we get some rain we're going to let polo out today guys Ugh. we're going to let him run around for a little bit we haven't let him out in a while and 
tell you what, it's a little windier, a little cooler, but not near as cool as I'd like it to be in the summer. I like the 60s, 50s. But we'll take what we can get. At least it ain't over 100 today. I think all the grass has died. I know it's windy. You probably can't hardly hear me, but a lot of our cattle guys right now are having to feed hay already, guys, because our grass has died, and that's not good. Not good at all. All right. <clears throat> Ragweed's high, if you can't tell. <clears throat> me and Mom are suffering from it. Let's see if we can get him out here. Polo! 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 There he is. <laughs> hey, buddy. What are you doing? Huh? You want out? Come on. He's in your barn, wasn't you? I don't blame you. I can't believe it. Let's let you out. Get you out of this jail cell, huh? You wanna go to the tree? Huh? You wanna go to your favorite tree? Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Yeah, right to his tree. <coughs> and for those of you who say, where does Polo sleep? Guys, Polo has everything he needs and more. This is one of our barns, which is a chicken house. This whole long thing right here, guys, beside the chicken house, that is all barn, all the way back. He's got hay feed and everything in there. He's even got a big hay bed, don't you? People were asking if you got a barn. Yes, you have a barn, don't you? Yeah, you got everything you need. Plus, with this thick coat, you probably don't even need it. Come on, you can follow me. You don't even come out of here unless I'm out of here. Come on, over the shoulder camera, come on. Are you gonna eat some of your tree now that I'm out here? No, swimming pool time. Oh, he didn't like something right there. I don't know what it was, but he did not like something right there. I don't know if it was a snake or if it's just a... Might be just a plant that he don't eat. That was weird. You didn't like it, did you? He likes that, though. All right, guys, check out the sky. We might have some rain coming. They say 5% chance today is what they're saying. I don't know if sure you did have got the 5%, that's for sure. All right, guys, I'm with Logan. We're gonna go put Polo up. We're a little late working tonight because we've been making beans and cornbread. Yeah. There's old Clyde, he's out here guarding the place. Keep him back, cuz. Oh, he won't bother it. She hurt him. <laughs> uh, it's got dark fast, don't it? Now, yeah. Because win winter. Yeah, fall's coming. It gets darker in the winter, uh, more earlier. And like, in the summer, it goes dark at maybe 8 o'clock. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's already in there. Is he already in there? Yeah. He's already went to bed, ain't he? <clears throat> kind of chilly out. All we have to do is just lock the lock the gate. Yeah, if he don't come out. Yep, he came out. Yeah, he'll go in though. Ooh. Oh. oh. Here he is. Don't attack me. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Come on. Oh. Go. Come on. No, 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 no. Come no. on, buddy. Here's the cats. Watch out, <laughs> he's trying to headbutt you. Come on, buddy. No, there he goes, Clyde. Hey, Clyde. Come on, Polo. Go to bed. Come on, go to bed. Come on, go to bed. 
Come on. No Clyde. Clyde can get out. Oh, no, he can't. Ha ha ha, Polo. No, no. Yeah. You're up for the night now. You're up for the night now. Oh, he's mad. I uh, know. He wants out, but he needs to be in there at night. Oh, oh yeah. He's mad. He's not happy. <laughs> you want to know why we have to use the lock? Huh. Mike, because yeah. he always used to open it with his head. Mm -hmm. He knows how to open it, don't he? Come on, Clyde! All right. Oh, he'll follow us. He knows how. Buddy. Too bad. You got to stay in there at night, buddy. Yeah. Coyotes and stuff. Yeah. All right, guys. Oh! Oh, he's mad. <laughs> he's protesting. There he gets. He'll be all right. Chill out. <coughs> He'll go get in his house. Yeah. Show him how dry the pool is. You want to eat some beans? Yeah. Are you? Yeah. Let's go eat some beans. Cornbread. Are you, wait, I already ate beans. No, I mean beans and cornbread, not just juice. He's had beans and bread. Mm -hmm. We're going to have beans and cornbread. All right. I got some eyes out here staring at me, guys. I'm not sure what they are. They came out of the fields. Are those spiders? No, too big to be spiders. Those spiders were in trouble. They're Co spiders. Probably coons. Maybe baby coons. Is it? Yeah, it's coons. No. -uh. I think there's one right here. No, it's kittens. Oh, it's cats in it. It is cats. Hi. Yeah, Hi. It is cats. That one is Baby from cats. Jules. That one always comes up to me at mom's house. Yeah, they're out here. Ow. Ow. Bitten. All right, let's go in now. We're heading in, guys. 